Guys, welcome back. In Korea, it's almost spring. So we're getting a little hints of sunshine coming through the building, the corners, and, and uh, it's feeling nice. So when I was at the market, I saw a lot of pomnamul, which is spring vegetables. And uh, I wanted to incorporate those into a bibimbap. These are mixing up the spring vegetables, putting in that Korean flavor, and uh, making a little bit hipsterish, but still very local and tasty. Here are two recipes that you can try. All right, so the first vegetable that comes out in the spring is called dolnamul, and it looks like this. In English, it's called uh, sedum, and you'll probably have seen it in your garden, but this is the edible kind. And the leaves, when you bite onto them, they have a little bit of a crunch. I'm going to just grab one handful like this. All right, some of the stems are long. I just like to just pop them into bite-sized pieces. I love spring, but I get hit with those uh, seasonal allergies if I start sounding congested. <laughs> Please bear with me. Just fill a bowl with cold water and we'll give them a quick wash. All right, and then just strain it out. Set that to the side. And next we have one block of tofu, roughly 300 grams. And we're gonna crumble the tofu. Guys, this feels so good, but just press down with your knife on this and then just smear it. Smear it. We're gonna keep smearing it. And once you got it looking like concrete paste, we'll set that aside. And then the second spring vegetable here is dale. You've probably seen it before, I've introduced it in one other recipe. But dale is wild chives that grow in the mountainous areas of Korea. Its stalks are like similar to chives. And then it has these beautiful little small onion bulbs. Um, they're mild and almost slightly sweet. And then the little goatee that it grows, that one tastes real good too. Let's start by giving these guys a nice wash. You see there's a lot of uh, dirt and things uh, in between. There's two easy things that we have to do. First, they have a little noggin on the head. Pop that piece off. And the onion has a little outer husk, right? You see that coming off? All right, guys, that took a good 10, 15 minutes. Chop off the white parts, good. And crunch down on the bulbs because that releases their flavors. There you go. All right, guys, and the same thing for the greens. Three tablespoons of soy sauce, that's one, and then three. One and a half tablespoons of gochugaru, that's one, and then another half. We're gonna even out that spice with honey. One and a half tablespoons, that's one, and then another half, good. And then one tablespoon of sesame oil, half tablespoon of minced garlic. Finally, a full tablespoon of sesame seeds. I always love mixing it because you can smell it. Give it a sample. Oh wow, that's beautiful. Then we're gonna put in a palmful of our dale, dale, dale. Another palmful of the onion bulbs. Yeah, then mix that baby in. All right, and this sauce itself is a rice killer. You can just put a few spoonfuls over a rice, a fried egg, and it's gonna be a wonderful meal. Of course, dale is gonna be hard to find if you don't have a Korean mart, which is for a lot of people. I think the closest substitution would be like Asian chives. And if you can't find Asian chives, then perhaps a, a few stalks of regular chives and put it in this sauce. All right, and now we're gonna fry up our tofu. Gosh, that just looks like bleh. Put this on a medium heat, a few tablespoons of oil, pan is hot guys and then we're gonna go back and forth until we lose all of the moisture in the tofu right it's still quite wet and runny and it's gonna take roughly five minutes all right guys that was a little less than five minutes and if you look there's no water put in one tablespoon of sesame oil oh it smells wonderful now a few shakes of salt to season and then about a half tablespoon of sesame seeds mix that up daniel why do i have to use tofu well you don't uh you could just use some minced meat uh if you like all right, guys, then layer up with some fresh rice. Then we're going to put our tofu crumbles, maybe a little bit more. Then this sedum with that weird name. Our dale sauce, dale, dale. And then I'm going to put one big spoon over the top. Drop some of the green over the table, you know, just to make it look rustic and nice. <laughs> and guys, here it is. Best way is to use chopsticks, ha, ha, ha. Just mix it in like that. Oh, yeah. Let's put another spoon in. Oh, 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 yes. All right, let's get a big spoonful. And guys, this the tofu in this dish is so subtle. It just plays in the background. This sauce is amazing. 
And the second one is going to be a rustic tenjang bibimbap. First, we're going to soak these shiitake mushrooms in water. I'm going to take off the stems. All right. We also need to make an anchovy kelp broth. And if you throw these in, more umami. Next, guys, we're going to dice up one full onion, small pieces. All right, guys, chop suey finished. If you can't find chungyang peppers, use maybe half a jalapeno. All right, that looks good. Next, we have another block of tofu. We're only going to use half. Slice it through the middle. All right, break them apart. That's ready. And finally, we're going to chop up these mushroom caps. And we're going to use some more of the tale. This time, I'm going to separate the white parts. We're going to chop up the greens in small pieces. By the way, I was using around this much tale. That's around like 15, 20 stalks. And then the white part, we're going to just cut up as well. All right, guys, and then I made some anchovy kelp broth. It's light and nice. I'm going to strain this. Um, if you don't know how to make it, uh, check out our video. Let's start. We're going to put it on a medium high. Let's start off with our onions. Fry it until it starts turning translucent. And once it turns translucent, we're going to add in our mushrooms and then our chili pepper. Get on in, baby. And we're gonna just keep mixing all this together. Guys, you see there's a lot of water. We're gonna cook this down until most of the water is gone. You see, no water here. And at this time, we're gonna add in two big spoons of Korean tenjang paste. That's one. And the second big spoon in. I want you to saute that in. Make sure it doesn't burn on the bottom. You see how it's mixed in now, almost like a curry. Add in our tofu. This is gonna add some water. And once it's mixed to there, guys, we're gonna slowly add some of our broth. A little bit at a time. All right. All right, now I added the full cup in. All right, guys, now that we added the broth, all of the flavors are gonna mix together even better. And then we're gonna reduce it down. By the way, guys, we're using broth right now, but to be honest, you can just get, get away with using water. In that case, I would just use half a cup of water. And guys, if you look now, it's reduced quite a lot, almost to like a loose curry. Throw in the white parts now to this mix. It's gonna give a light, refreshing kick here, the dale. A layer of hot rice here. All right, and we'll put it over the top. Some of our dale leaves on top, like this, right in the top. Oh my goodness. Dale in the middle. Oh, we forgot one thing. We gotta bless the table, you know, make it look pretty for presentation. There is your spring tengjang bibimbap. This reminds me, when I was young, my mom would always have a leftover pot of tengjang jjigae from the night before. And when she'd go off to work, I'd fry up an egg, get the leftovers, mix up some rice like this, and just, and just be happy in the morning. It's just amazing. Mm. Normally when you have tengjang jjigae, you can feel all the spices. There's a lot in there. But this one, since you added the broth and then reduced it again, it's rounded out all the sharp tastes. Guys, it's spring. Remember to slow down just a little bit. Smell the, uh, smell the tale and uh, enjoy life, guys.